Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play, where today is going to be an absolute flipping blast. I've got two builders busy and loads of loot, so lots of potential for today's episode. But first, remember that our goal for June is to hit 50 members here on YouTube. You can find a link if you want to become a member to join. Um, the perks are amazing, and again, our goal is to hit 50. As of today, we're sitting at 33. We gained one from yesterday's video. So definitely become a member. Um, the perks are amazing. Early access to videos for two bucks. Um, access to special events and wars and stuff at the five dollars here. It's amazing. So again, check out the link in the description. But today, guys, once again, um, we got lots of lots of things that we're gonna get done. In fact, it's gonna be crazy. We got a laboratory that's not doing anything. It's crazy. We got a queen that has finally woke up. The warden is still upgrading. He's got three days to go. Uh, and the king needs to be upgraded to catch the queen at level 57. So let's just see what we can get up to, shall we? Um, I've got a um, queen walk of a baby. I've actually got two of those. So hopefully we can keep the queen alive in the next raid. But it is really all about grabbing loads of loot. And first search is pretty good. First search hype. Um, it's a really interesting. Look at this. Look at this. This is a town hall 12 with like town hall 8 level walls. Look at that. That's town hall 8. The purple is Town Hall 7. Those are like Town Hall 3 or something. I mean, that's crazy. Look at the look at the look at the yellow walls. Yeah, these walls are, are terrible. Um this this is the type of base that you want to uh to find if you're using Queen Walk for Babo. This is literally perfect. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is gonna be an absolute beatdown. Let's do this. I don't have a warden though. That's a problem. But what I do have is superior firepower. So let's go ahead and send in the Queen Walk here. And the idea will be to survive this initial onslaught. I don't think there's a CC, but there might be. You never know. So let's just uh, throw in a, a, a wizard over here and a wizard over here just to kind of start helping out with the funnel. Let's actually drop a one, one, two, three uh, wall breakers just to try to get the the everything in. So there we go. Looking very, very good right now. Um, I'm going to do another baby dragon and then a bait. I'm sorry, a balloon and then a baby dragon because I don't want the queen to follow the army camps out here. I want her to go inside the base. So right there. There we go. Okay. Okay, dude, we're in good shape. So now I want to send in my, uh, my giants and such. Okay. So let's do, let's actually do, actually, you know what? The queen might go the wrong direction. This is wait. Yeah. She's, she looks like she's going to go to the, to the top. But let's actually do it this way. So giants, it's all on you guys. It's on you guys. Let's go wall wrecker. Let's go um, wall breakers. Let's drop in a balloon for fun. You wizards. But then really the main thing is that we make sure that we get all of our troops inside of the base. Let's put a few Valkyries and a few bowlers. But everybody really needs to dive in on this side. Okay. Kings down. Wizards down. Everybody. Everybody is in. Everybody's in. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Yes. All right. So Valkyries. Is anybody going to go into the core? Nobody's going to go into the core. Okay. Okay. Let's poison that. Let's freeze that. And let's rage that. We're going to jump over the backside. I'm going to heal as well. And um, I've got another freeze too. So we're looking really, really good. So basically, I lit up the core. Even though my troops didn't go out there, that's all right. Because the queen with the uh, healers will do amazing work even under... Um, uh, will do amazing work even whenever there's not a whole lot of other troops to back her up. But this, this is looking okay. It's looking really good. Let's actually freeze over this air defense. Pop this king's ability. And I've still got one more minion. I'm going to go ahead and put the minion over here. So, this is looking good so far. The only thing is we have to make sure that we keep the queen alive, okay? If the queen doesn't survive, then the next raid is going to be an absolute disaster, okay? And we do not want to have a disastrous raid. So, um, queen's doing okay. I'm going to pop her abilities. Not a whole lot of defenses left. And here's what we're going to see, guys. We're going to see everybody kind of collapsing on each other. I've still got one more healer. So, we should be able to keep this uh, queen alive for the next raid. It's going to be a three-star. The loot in this raid was actually really, really good. Really, really strong. So, that's going to be awesome. Check this out. Looks like the queen may... We may have to spend a few gems to get her back between raids, but that's okay. Told you this was the perfect base to find with Queen Walk Vabebo. That was in a beautiful, beautiful thing. By the way, Vabebo. Valkyries, Baby Dragons, Bowlers, in case you weren't sure. But there we go. So with that loot bonus, this is over 600,000 Golden Elixir, and then the Dark Elixir was gorgeous. 45, 4600. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Plus 70, not 71. Wow, that would be crazy. 31 trophies. I almost said 71 trophies. Anybody ever find 71 trophies? Let me know, because I think that would be game-breaking, right? Uh, so let's go and request for some CC. I am eight minutes away from having a queen, so I can either uh, send in my... First of all, let me go ahead and send uh, the CC troops. There we go. 
donated from my own phone, prepared and ready to go. But um, I can either spend nine gems, or I can try hitting without my queen. I think that's what I'm going to try to do, just for the fun of it. It's going to be a challenge, right? So let's try to find a base that may be just as easy as that previous base. By the way, I just 12v12 three star. I mean, that deserves a like in the video, don't you think? And a subscribe to join the class family for daily gaming videos. And ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. And by the way, become a member so you can see the early access videos. Holy cow, we have so much going on here in the class family. But no, um, I'm actually, ooh, that's pretty. But no, very strong, strong base. We don't want to attack a strong base. And that's a dead base, but loot's not very good. What I'm trying to do here, guys, is I'm trying to find a base that is weak enough to where I can do pretty good work even without my queen. If I have to search for too long, here's what I'll do. I'm just gonna, ooh, oh, ooh, dead tunnel 12, yes, okay. That's beautiful. Um, where, what, what do I wanna focus on? Elixir, gold, let's focus on gold, let's go this way. All right, so I've got no, um, I've got no queen for a queen walk, so here's what I'll do. I'm gonna actually send in the, send in the giants first, okay? Wall wrecker. Now let's go Valkyries, Balloons, Healers, Bowlers. Dude, we're sending everybody in. Everybody in, including the King. Send send in the Cavalry, all right? Send them all in. Get it done. Let's go. Let's drop a Rage Spell. I'm just going to basically follow the Wall Wrecker all the way into the core with Rage Spells. Let's actually heal as well, but I want to make sure that we're covering the right troops. I'm going to jump out of the core there, and I'm actually going to send in a Rage and a Heal and a freeze there you go dude that core is completely covered that's amazing king's on the north side actually i'm gonna go ahead and use his ability there and i'm gonna send in a baby dragon for that cannon that's outside the range of everything that's going down in there i've still got another freeze so i'm thinking uh freeze this wizard tower that is currently not being targeted by anything and dang i should have probably froze that air defense but that's okay i guess not a problem so uh, b uh maybe a minion to start working on the eagle artillery because yes that tesla goes down that's awesome and it looks like we're about to three star again that is the beauty of finding dead bases that is why you gotta love crystal league don't you love crystal league gotta love it am i am i even in crystal league i think i am i'm not even sure i think i'm in crystal league so that was amazing guys without a queen a queen walk army still pulling off the three star. How did I do it? By using my funnel troops. So I think the really the key is not the funnel troops. Although I didn't need a funnel. That base didn't necessarily need a funnel. But the key was the tanks, right? The tanks. You set out your giants. They're the ones that take the initial damage. Then you send in your kill squad. Then you send in your wall wrecker to break into everything. You send in your Valkyries, your bowlers, your king everything keep the rage in the core that's the main thing and heal up with some freezes as well poison spell over the queen dude it was an absolute beat down that base dropped like a house of cards and i love it dude i absolutely love it but there you go so that was um still quite a bit of loot all things considered so now that we have gotten all of the loot that we're going to get today let's bounce into my progress base and let's see what we're up to well, obviously, top priority is going to be our laboratory. So let's actually look. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's collect the treasury, okay? Collect the treasury that's going to get us nearly max in Dark Elixir. So now, this is all that we have to work with. So, um, once again, what about the lab? The lab has lots of options, okay? I've actually got enough elixir to do any elixir-based thing I want. Or, I've got enough Dark Elixir to do any Dark Elixir-based thing I want. Now, I would actually love to upgrade something like the Valkyries, because I'm using them occasionally. But I think that a higher priority as of right now are the miners. And here's why. Because I have discovered that if I barch right, because that's how I got all this loot, okay? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have not been using the Babo between episodes. I've been using barch. Barching dead bases, and I almost maxed out my elixir. So I switched over to miners, and I started farming dark elixir with miners. And my elixir would maintain, sort of drop a little. So I'm thinking if I get better miners, then I may be able to do even better when that situation arises i'm sticking with barch until i max up my elixir and then using miners to grab dark elixir that is basically the plan and i'm using other strategies in the videos because it's kind of fun i'm actually really enjoying it a lot queen walk vabebo is an amazing strategy one of my one of the best that there is really so uh, but yeah i think that upgrading miners would be amazing it'd be even more an effective dark elixir strategy and that is a huge priority so 11 million elixir a 14 day whew, Two week upgrade, holy cannoli. Let's do this in three, two, one, bam. Okay, the elixir's done. We can't spend any more elixir. Actually, we can. We can spend 
a little bit more elixir. We still have two more of these gold mines. Do I have any more elixir collected? I finished those. So yeah, the only, yeah, we got two more gold mines. I'd like to finish those up, but unfortunately, and I guess this is a good problem, is that I'm farming enough to where I actually have enough resources to keep all builders busy on important things. The collectors and mines are generally filler upgrades for when I don't have enough resources to do a real upgrade. Does that make sense? So, um, here's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking we should do a gold upgrade because I've got loads of gold and dark elixir because I've got loads of dark elixir. So, which actual dark elixir upgrade should I do? Should I get the king and, uh, and catch it up to the queen at 57? Or should I do the queen at 58? I'm thinking that my goal moving forward, and it's always been the goal, but I think I'm seeing the method now to actually make it happen, is to keep both builders or both uh, king and queen upgrading all the time. So that means I want to keep them balanced. So that means I need to upgrade the king. So the king going to level 57 is only 218,000 dark elixir. So I've got seven days until I need to upgrade him again. I've got 236,000 dark elixir. So I'm ahead of the game for the next upgrade. That's perfect. Let's do it. 218,000 dark elixir. Seven day upgraded. Three, two, one. Bam. And he walks over and he's he. He puts his sword down on the altar and he takes a break. He's like, finally. Kind of looks like uh, Heimdall from uh, Thor. You know? You see what? Do you see it? Not really. He doesn't look like him. He's just standing like him. He's got his big old sword. He's just like, you shall not pass. Yet again, another Lord of the Rings reference. I think Lord of the Rings is the thing that I referenced the most in any video that I've ever done. It's kind of funny. But anyway, Tolkien would be proud, wouldn't he? So, okay. My elixir has been spent. My dark elixir has also been spent. But what about my gold? First of all, air defenses. We need to catch up. Yeah, so the air defense still has 10 days to go before it's done. I'm not going to do two at a time. So, what about expos? Can't afford expos. What about wizard towers? Can't really afford wizard towers, though I'm really, really close. I'm really, really close to that. So what about Tesla? Yeah, I can afford a Tesla. Yeah, 10,000 gold. I'm going to upgrade a Tesla at 10,000 gold. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, I got some free gold. I'm going to collect that. Okay, what, what does that change? Ah, I can finally do a wizard tower. Now, there's a lot of reasons why you like to do wizard towers. Splash damage, they can hit ground and air, but another one that's a little bit more vain is the fact that the upgrade looks just absolutely epic. I love the grid, the purple grid on top of the mountain, but also the fact is if I upgrade this, then I can move all these walls down as long as I reorganize how the mortars and bomb towers look and it'll it'll open up space on my progress base. So there's lots of reasons to upgrade the, the wizard tower. Um, th this is just one of the sillier ones. So, let's do it. 14 day upgrade. 14 again? What? Oh, that was the lab. Okay, I was about to say, wait, we're going to do two 14 day upgrades today? I don't want to have upgrades finishing on the same day, but no, we're good. Alright, so 11.2 million gold, 14 day upgrade. This is amazing because, yet again, this means that we're going to be uh, keeping all five builders busy, making some epic, major defensive progress on the base, and it's good. So, let's go. 11.2 million gold in three, two, one, bam. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, so that was the tower. We go there. We need to. I need to rearrange my progress base a bit. Okay, that's definitely something that needs to be on my list. But now that that wizard tower is out of the way, I can finally move walls. Uh, watch. I'm gonna select all. I can finally move these down and make more room on the other side. So this is really good, except for the fact that again, these bomb towers, and mortars. We, I just need to adjust some things. Okay, some things need to be adjusted. But, um, guys, that's going to have to do it for me today in this episode of our Tunnel 12 Let's Play. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, the progress today has been amazing. I mean, getting a hero upgrade done, a laboratory upgrade done, a major defense done, all in the same episode, plus two three stars. That was pretty solid. I mean, overall, just been... Oh, by the way, just proof for you guys that I've been getting all my loot with Barch. There's a Barch. The last raid was this morning. Barch, half a million elixir, just like that. The one before that was 700,000 elixir. Once again, all with Barch. No heroes even needed when you use Barch, especially if you're down in Crystal Elixir. It's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. Guys, that's it for me. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the hashtag Klaus family. Ring the bell for notifications and become a member for early access. Link is in the description. Also, don't forget to use the creator code to support your favorite content creator with your in-game purchases. If you want to support me, I'd greatly appreciate it. The link or uh, the code is code Klaus. 
link is in the description to automatically input it but remember it expires every seven days so you want to make sure that you manually double check before you buy the gold pass or buy a special pack or buy gems or whatever so here's how you double check before you make your purchase you go to your gears button to go to settings go to more settings and scroll down to the very bottom and as you can see there you can see that i'm still currently supporting klaus for demonstration purposes so I'm good to go. Now it's time to buy stuff. But it, if it was empty, just hit enter code, type in Klaus, uppercase K, lowercase K, doesn't matter. Epic. All right, guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again in today's stream. Yeah, I'm streaming today. Yeah, today's Thursday. I have to lose track all the time. <laughs> be sure to tune in to, to, to the stream. That's going to be this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We go live every Tuesday and Thursday on the live. Link is in the description. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.